Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dredge. Okay, what was I doing the other day? Oh, the lights. I have to get a skate, I think it was. Where do the skates live? Uh, Devil's Spine. I wish it told me, like, where? Deepest living species of skate. Don't to use hydrothermal vents as incubate. So, finding fish near the vents, maybe? So, like, fish near this. Is it you guys? No. It might be you guys? Oh, there's no fish over here. That's the guy we want to avoid. Turn off your lights before they go out. This is junk. Ooh, a sextant. That is a piece of navigational equipment. But I need to find me uh, some fish. This is abyssal. Oh, that's not what I need. That's oh god. Oh no. Uh. Banish, get off me. Okay, so if the more of them that come onto you, like grab them onto you, the harder it is for you to like maneuver. I see sparkles in the distance. Well, that's. Well, that hurt. Jet drive engine disabled. Uh, two malformed fish under the writhing stun. I'm just gonna get two. Uh, what do you call it? Two aberrations, and we'll be fine. But also blow this up. has got beat up, which is fine. Oh god! It's mad. Where did I find the skate before? Mm. Fix my boat, please. Thank you. Also, buy some more dynamite. And why not buy that? for sale. Why don't we just take a nap? So I need two aberrations and I need a skate. And that should be enough to light all of my fires, right? Regular. Regular. Give me aberrations. I don't 
think the size of the fish matters that much, just that they're two in any configuration. Watch the skates be plentiful inside of there, and I'll, like, be very sad. Be very, very sad. What about here? That could be the skates. Yes. Okay, let's get out of here safely. And return to this spot here. They haven't seen me, we're good. Splits with an almighty crack, it crumbles away, revealing its core. Well, I thought I could put that in cargo. Or, like, in my storage, but, like, I can't... Okay, that's weird that I could put it in storage from there. Alright, so now I just need two aberrations. Why does that sound kind of close? Is it close? I don't think it is. Oh, it's close. Alright, sell all these fishes, see? I'm at the point where I don't think I have to use my speed uh, ability. Fish market time. That's just a trophy, right? Yeah. Storage. I have one of you again. So I've got two of these flames. That's fine. That's what I need to get. Or what's his face? The, uh... The fanatic. Nine days. That's the best net you can make. You can get. We have an aberration bonus on that, right? So... Why don't we just... So, that's all I have to do is just fish aberrations, go to the third spot. Any aberrations will do. It doesn't even have to be from here. That's a big boy crab. Lots of fishing to do. Uh, there, I guess. Don't mess with me, little guys, please. Yeah, you sillies. Nope. 
about these guys. We get a trophy. That sounds close. It is close, but not too close. My aberration bonus is only one point. Ooh, aberration. Right, we got one. The big crab. I can buy the new uh, the net off you, right? But I don't want to. Storage. Uh, nets. No pots. So I can buy the new pot. Research all pots. Those are nets. I try to can't buy pots off you. I can buy nets. Well, disembark, and I guess we're going to go to that other... Where was that one? Here. I guess we can go this way. before the thing rots, though. I'm sailing into it. This is smart. Cut through here. Somewhere. Almost at that. already lit. We have to go through this? Yeah. This way, I feel like we're gonna go right into it. It's there, I see it over there. under the sun. Does that mean I have to, like, have them rotting? What that did just miss everything up. That was a much better way to go there, by the way. But I think that was being blocked by that giant fish. Let's see. Do you want to help me out here? Aberrate, please. No. Figured if I'd ask nicely, maybe it would listen to me. Crazy how far you can see that lighthouse. There we are. 
fish market. We're gonna sell you a ghost fish. Oh no, I could buy pots off you. We're in the fish market. I am such an idiot 99% of the time. Storage. Um no, we're gonna we're gonna buy this. This is one of those times where if I was on stream, someone point would point out how like silly I've been. Engines and pots are done. I feel like this is probably the next thing. What's in my crab pot? That was a nice little formation they made there. I feel like the only things we're going to get here are the giant crabs and fish stuff. Um, let's sleep. We need one more aberrated fish. Goosey, and it's costing me a lot, actually. I took three damage already. Stone hums quietly. Already got that on there. I want to know how to do all that stuff with the stone. Oh, don't I still have to find another um, tablet somewhere? Also in the prime spot where this dude likes to swim around, right? Let's check that out. Cabin encyclopedia not encyclopedia. Uh pursuits. More tab is fine. Yeah, I thought he said there's only one more. I wonder where that is. Hmm. If I were a tablet. Where would I be? Lots of these guys, these armored sea robins, not sea robins. Please aberrate once in a while. Do it. No. Firstly, fix my ship. Thank you very much. Secondly, I have a ton of fish for you. Why don't I drop another crab pot? I'm 
looking for that spot in the water where you can see the aberrations are about to happen. Or that there's definitely one in there. Uh-oh. We're on the map, am I over here? More of these rocks. It's the same ones, I think. But they're not glowing. Oh, 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 here's the spot. There we go, I got the second one. Oh, I missed the trophy. Okay. Now we just have to go to here. So about face. I don't like how that sounded. Don't troubles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Place your hand up. Oh God. Sudden chill rushes up the, the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A leviathan raises its gray head, stretching up, up, until it sits level with a bright flame cradled at the top of the ancient lighthouse. It watches the fire for a while, tilting its head and calling softly to it with a guttural song. Appearing satisfied, the beast sinks into the water, gliding back into the depths. Oh. Also, I need to make it back to uh, the pontoon, but also the other side of this. No. Discard. Daytime and I'm kind of panicked. That's a lot of them fishes, see? I'm gonna go mad with, like, sea dementia. Do I have to be in a panicked state for those things to show up with the rocks? the one. Crap! Yeah! We did it, but I might die. Screw! Quickly. Alright, we did it. We did the thing. So now I have these three flimps. But where's this third? Uh... Okay. I definitely have to rest. Wake up a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh. A crusted talisman, install time, fishing bonus, and aberration bonus. Fishing speed. An aberration.
regeneration bonus now. Okay, so now I'm going to legitimately rest until morning. I want to do another sweep around this place to try to find where that talisman might be. some newbies. sell all these guys now. Fish market. That's a decent haul of fish. I'll buy another reinforced crab pot. That's all of these guys. done. I guess we'll go to the Fanatic, I suppose? No. We need to find this tablet. It's an aberration fish. Fish. I'm trying to just not get got by your fish god. You know, I see. Oh, hello. No, not like this. Over here, over here. This was like a arena. There it is. I see it. Oh, no. Alright, so we know where it is. I need some dynamite. I think I have dynamite. Just being sloppy. Undamaged. He sounds close, but he's not. It's in here, okay. Loose pile of debris, use the explosives. Also, turn off your light, dude. Energy bill is going to be through the roof. Stone tablet. Okay. So now we do this. We. Manifest back at Greater Marrows or Lesser Marrows. We go on over to this man's here. And 
I think he's gonna give us the giant tablet to go into this to the lighthouse. Mm. Trader takes the stone tablet from you and places it alongside the others. He turns them over and arranges them together in a square. The undersides of the tablet's new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the low ceiling. Hmm, yes, go on. He begins transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads aloud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars, protect us, O guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Greater Marrow by centuries. Yeah, so it's the other lighthouse. Uh, they should open a lock somewhere, but where? I know exactly where, dude. Hmm. Any trinkets? I actually do. There you go. Okay, so then we're going to go to the shipwright. Perform some repairs. I think I've gone fishing since I got this tablet. Uh, put that in storage. Hold on. Oh, I also have this to sell you. Come back. So yeah, we sell off this, the, the uh, navigational equipment now. Sell. Nice. Now we're free and clear of all the things. I could sell these because I don't need them anymore, right? How do I do that? Back and forth we go again. Hold on, fishing for aberrations. Monster update to fishing speed. Holy heck, that's quick. Remember me, buddy? Sleep? Alright, so where's the lighthouse, though? I think it was... Hmm... Is it here that I marked it? Is that where we're going? Let's try that out, because now I have this pursuit. Find the door. Yeah. I have to go northeast to the Devil's Spine. Correct? Yeah. I would also assume that that's the lighthouse. That thing that looks like a lighthouse in the distance. But... Yeah, that's it. Or it could be the one on the other side. Oh, good with that. These guys are big. And they fetch a decent price. Dock. But now that I'm here with the key, what's in the cave? I did that already. It's the story of their creation and demise. Climb all the way up the steps to leading to the ancient lighthouse. At its base, a solid stone door. You can't see handle, but I have the key. The fuse tab it clicks into place and the door rumbles before sliding side. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse, the stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. 
flame of the sky. It's a light. 35,000 lumen? I have 100. Learn how to count. So yeah, I would do that. I would definitely uninstall that. Install that. And then I have space for another piece. Okay, so that's neat. So that's one pursuit all wrapped up. Uh, yeah, open the door. Now I gotta light the statues. Which is at the ancient temple. Let's go. There's that guy. Let's see what happens if I keep it like in somewhat panic mode. I teeter on the edge of panic mode the entire time. You fly is what happens. Also, shipyard storage. Sell those. I don't need them anymore. And this. I'm gonna buy another one of these lights. So there, I'm super well lit. Let's, let's get everything from our crab pots. sink in. Fantastic. And then offload all this stuff. Sell all the lobsters and the crabs. Did I not pick up that other net? Nope. So is that what that red stuff does in the sky? Just it accelerates your panic? Is that all that it does? It's not too terrible, but also kind of frightening. Uh, I can't sell this to you? Oh, that's right. You weren't the person to sell it to. It was, it was the other one. Okay, so I just lost money on that. I'm never going to be able to financially recover. Alright, let's sleep and then go visit the fanatic. I also need to hit the sleep button, not the disengage button. Okay. Now. Where is this fanatic? He's on this island. I think I can access my cargo from here. If not, we'll run back. Hello, Mr. Fanatic. I have returned. To complete the quest you have set before me. Statues. Left. Full flame roars in the statue's hands. Middle. Full flame roars in the statue's hands. Operations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Return to the fanatic. What is it? The flames are lit! I can feel it. The chill of the deep 
approaches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises a scroll. He begins to chant. He ignores you. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar, a cold blue flame. Stop this. His chanting grows louder. The freezing uh, blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. Cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace remains. Well, I'll take that pocket watch now. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Lock hand spinning wildly below the cracked face. Well... That was... Neat. I'm not gonna stick around for whatever. See you, devil spine. Climb the old steps. He approaches, drawing closer with an insistent ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. Give up the pocket watch. Did I- was I not supposed to give up the pocket watch? Uh, and with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the, de uh, the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. You know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Okay. <gasps> Your progress will not be safe from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Absolutely not. I'm thinking... Not to do that. Screw. Getting a handle for how this thing runs fast. A little loose on the turns. Uh, shipwright, I have a problem. Can you assist? Thank you kindly. Uh, oh yeah, I don't buy dynamite from you. All right, we have no more dynamite. Well, let me let me see anything about uh, conversations. Nothing there. The wider region, certainly. Is there something in particular you wish to know about? Nope. There's nothing new from you. Did I do all of the pursuit? I feel like, I feel like I missed something. Skrrp, skrrp, skrrp. I'm as fast as I can go. I have as much light as I can have and I could fish everything. Not this place. We want that place. Nice. Tell me more about that book of yours. This one here? With a rin grind, he pulls some, a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb. Your hypocrisy is where is wearying. I suppose he must go through this rigmarole mold yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Where'd you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Am I the dude in the story who went mad? 
He wanted to forget, begged me, the room... Or am I the person in the notes? This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. You step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? I punch the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. What? What? You're pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. We can undo everything, undo what you did. What? You must make one final voyage. I guess I'm ready. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. What is happening? So we have to wait until midnight, I'm assuming. 1 a.m. Now our destination is the open expanse of the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. Chill rises in your body as you turn to leave. The Collector is with you. I want to open that up. So we have to go here. Okay, so just... Disembark. Is it that point? Yeah, it looks like it's that point. What is this, dude? Oh, the time has stopped. It's permanently 1 a.m. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. You open the book, its pages are frosted with ice and a chill mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time, you throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace over. Bind them to this world once more, you throw the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens, you slot the key into the lock of the music box, and lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, the key unturned. I'm gonna fight this giant squid now. Uh, whoa. Oh my God, in the background, what is, what is that? That's a face. That's a, is it Cthulhu the whole time? Did I just summon a, the end of the world? Holy heck, I did! I destroyed the lighthouse and the town? Wait a minute, what? Was there another way to go about this? I feel like there was another way to go about this, possibly, without bringing upon the end of the world. But I wanna... I don't wanna skip it to see if anything happens. Holy heck, dude. I did not see the twist end coming. Like...
I wonder if there's like other endings. There has to be other endings. This was nuts. I can continue? I can continue. It's gonna be from this point, right? Ruined Mansion? Oh! Oh, hold on a second. I feel like... I feel like something else could be done. I wonder. Because I wonder what is that last pursuit. There's definitely space on there for a pursuit, but I don't... Hmm. Well, there's nothing new with you. What happens if I don't know about my alter ego being the dude? That's not the way. This is the way. So what if I just say I'm ready? I'm ready. Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken with luck to seize. Okay. So we do it anyway. Destination is the expanse west. Let's not tarry. So... Would this be considered an alternate ending, I guess? I don't know. I mean, technically, yes, because I don't know that I'm the collector. There has to be... So these have, this has to be a bad ending, and there has to be good endings, or a good ending. I don't know. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us. So then, is this when the collector does the stuff instead of me? And then we throw the music box into the into the water, and then the dead wife reemerges. I am going to try to get a good ending. Unless I have to play through the entire game again. But that is so cool in the background with the giant squid monster arising. I hope it's Cthulhu in the lore, but... It doesn't look like it. It just looks like a giant squid plopping up because there's nothing underneath those tentacles. No body. So yeah, I think everything, everybody dies again, right? Black Salt Games. This is a fantastic game. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Let's... Can we... Continue is from... What if I load this? Is it the same spot? 
Yeah, I've already turned in the relic to him. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Also, with this workshop, like... How do I unlock the workshop, dude? Huh. Well, if there's another ending, I think... I'm blocked off. Because the only people who seem to have known what was going on, the only person who seemed to know what was going on was the lighthouse lady, and she doesn't give me any new options. Maybe I'm not supposed to turn in the last relic to somebody? Nope, no new conversations. He's a zombie. I think I messed up somewhere. I, I think I cannot unlock what would be co considered the good ending. Shipwright. Nope. Nothing here. Yeah, you're, you have no new uh, spots. What is it? Yep. There. Same combos over and over. I so about the wider region. And there's nothing, nothing new. Unless. Well, no, we did everything we could with. Well, if there's some of these spots here with the question marks, this guy's done. Well, yeah, I, th I, th I think that's it. I think that's all that I can do here. Okay. Well. I suppose that is it for this episode of Let's Play Dredge as well as the series. I will... I guess I'm going to have to do some research and see if there's another ending that I missed. Because I don't know about that workshop. Why is it always locked? Why can't I open it? Uh, unless it's something I unlock. By doing some of those weird... There's there's a couple of spots where it's like, yeah, place, place specific fish here. But if that's it, if, that, if that's all this game is, then it was a fantastic journey. And... Uh, I thank you all for being here while I uh, embarked on said journey. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the series, drop a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. You'll get alerted when I post more content here on YouTube. Uh, leave a comment, share the video, share the channel. Those are the best ways to support what I'm doing, and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.